I've always had a passion for the sport. What is my goal? And that is to be number one in the world. Champions, they don't lie in the bed all day. Nobody's gonna hand you the victory. You gotta earn it yourself. This uh, hard work and a uh, really nice guy. Yeah, it's been a, a remarkable year. All those match wins. 2021 US Open, I played against Novak Djokovic. To play with this guy and win one set was a huge confidence for me. Started the year 475 and he's just uh, on the cusp perhaps of breaking the world's top 100. This is an amazing place here in Monaco where you have uh, all the facilities, great the physical things. That's the forecast said there should be some rain, but yeah. We have a great players to practice with. Also, a lot of the guys coming up, like me, Musetti, Felix, also up there. It's a perfect place to, to do the preseason. So, first, we're starting with some stretching and mobility and getting the body ready for the day. And the next part of the day is not going to be like this, so this is probably the only time I will lay down. I'm trying to be as flexible as Novak, you know? Sliding out each corner every rally. I'm, I'm going to do that. <laughs> Bravo! Only right leg, yeah? I have a very clear goal of myself where I want to be in the future, so I try to tell myself I want to be the best in the world. And often I actually enjoy pushing myself, pushing to the limits, because you know this is where I can feel I really get better. Can we go? Yeah, I think okay. so. If it starts raining now, it's better to go. I think we have to go to Beausoleil, because uh, now it starts raining, and uh, up there we have for sure one hour on court. Uh, down here we might not be able to play at all. I guess we'll go up there, and then uh, probably in the afternoon it'll be okay, and we can extend the training a little bit here. So I might, I have the longest leg, so I might go front seat. Yeah. But you got to call shotgun. Shotgun! <laughs> My coach is Lars and uh, it's actually a fun story. We met the uh, first time when I was six, seven years old in the club I started and uh, we've been practicing since then. He knows my game like inside and out, so, so obviously he knows when I'm at the top and when I need to get better and when I need to push harder and when I'm you know, just struggling or whatever. So, so I think that's a good thing, so I cannot hide anything in a way. Don't judge anything yet. <laughs> Everything we have a good relationship and a good team. We are building as a team, as, as players and as persons, so, so it's good. Yeah. Two, three. The Namik on court, actually we don't have a lot of time because I ju we just moved from the country club to here as it was raining. Always step in, adjustment step. Also because it's pretty cold, we try to warm up. Move, bam, 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 bam. Move the feet. Bam, 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 bam. We have just actually 10 minutes. It was pretty intense but short. Super cold. <laughs> but yeah, that's good woman. Getting the legs warm, and now ready to step on the tennis court to do what we love. That's it, that's it, perfect. Whenever the ball is a little bit wider, try and cut the angle, okay? Go and cut the corner. That's it, that's what I'd like to see. Yeah. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, you're doing the right thing. I'm practicing with uh, Lorenzo Musetti. We both know what it takes to come close to the top and uh, it definitely takes a lot of hard work and that's why we're here. It's okay, maybe you can step in further. We're trying to go and take the ball a little bit earlier, so I want him to step in all the time. Come on, and step in. On the backhand side especially, I want him to take a few more steps into the court. Maybe you could take a little bit higher on the backhand side, five, ten centimeters higher, and I'd like to see that. Now, on the top. So don't let it drop at all. On the top, on the top. That's it. Does that warm you up a little bit? I'm pretty warm, yeah. <laughs> I can't feel I'm cold, so it's good. When you're more tired you get, you're less, less I hear you. So try and, if you don't have to scream so much, but just, it, uh, just give me a little bit of sound all the way through, okay? Yeah. Come on, give me some sound. Okay, who's gonna die first? Come on. Come on, give me some height. Come on. So everything in the court now. Come on, play it in the court, everything. Ah, I'm wondering. And uh, how do you feel right now in the lungs? You know, I can feel the 
I'm alive. You're alive? And that's a positive thing here in life. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. You're thank welcome. you. It was nice talking to you. Thank you. You're hired. If you guys were not here, he would get crazy when I did something like this. <laughs> you know, sometimes I enjoy the pain, sometimes I don't, but I know I have to do it to be able to, to be 100% for the next season. It does, you know, already back at it, so now it's time for the fitness, for the fast feats. Yeah, I would prefer doing this than laying down on the couch. What is my goal? And that is to be number one in the world and, you know, champions, they don't lie in the bed all day. Two second rest and then we go again. If you cannot do this, you, it's almost impossible to compete with the guys in top 100 because, you know, they all can do it. And I think for me also, how I play the game is it's really important for this. You want to say up, you stop, but you're moving. Ba, stop, move. Ba, stop, ba, yes, yeah, stop. You go here, one, one, forza, forza, last one, forza. Bravo, girl. Well done. Ah. This one was tough for the legs, for the endurance, for everything. Yeah. What a camera angle! <laughs> oh, but what what uh, should you do better? What I should do better? I'm very light on the feet. I could get more down with the left knee. It's always room for improvement. That's a good thing about tennis, you know, I was actually playing, like when I was young, I was playing like Star Wars, you know, the video games, and you come to a certain level, then you're perfect, you're good enough, you can't get any better. And in tennis, and if you, you know, everything in this job is, you can always get better. And that's a good thing. Yeah. You see like even, you know, Novak like five years ago, he was still number one in the world, but now he's so much better than five years ago. So that's, you know, that's a great thing. All right, guys, we'll see you at the fitness. Yeah, see you. Yeah. See you. I started playing tennis when I was six in a, in a club where my sister, she started. And I thought it was, was a lovely sport and I still do, thankfully. Even from early on, I've always had the passion for the sport. I remember when we were going for holidays and I always said to my mom, let's book a court, book a court. And we went down to practice and my sister maybe, she also had a big passion for, for tennis, so we always played. I had a big temper actually back then. I still have, but I tried to control it. So I was, you know, throwing the rackets all over if I lost to my sister. But, uh, you know, she was good for me because she was obviously better. She's four years older. So she was a good, like, uh, push for me. Yeah, I'm ready for more torture. I'm ready for more torture. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> 50 hero fine. We've known each other and we played a lot of times. Uh, we did all the juniors' careers together. We shared a lot of things and now we, we are sharing those moments even in the, in the pre-season. He won a lot of matches, a great battles. He made a lot of experience playing on the ATP Tour. I'm so happy for him because he's a hard worker and a really nice guy. Not because uh, I have the, you, the camera. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <laughs> They're both young guys who, who are going to get better. I think those guys are the ones that improve the most in the off-season. I think they're going to benefit the most from the off-season. They have to go through pain, they have to go through suffering. They need to learn to enjoy that. They like tennis, you know, you can see that. They enjoy working, you can see that they want to improve. It's great to see. I'm going to play some points, so I'm going to play some games. Focus less on the outcome than what we're working on. Mentally try and play the next point to win it. I am a perfectionist and I want you know everything to be perfect but also in the same way I know it can't be perfect. So I gotta you know take it easy on myself sometimes. If it's slower I just have to move more. Yeah, yeah. 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 Even on the practice court when I go out there and compete I really want to win every time. Work on the rhythm of the surf. So you now Hello. Kan du ikke lige prøve at nulstille, altså prøve at lytte en gang? 
tage den og tage noget tid. Hold dig for helvede, man. Altså, prøv at tænke dig om. Jamen, du holder på bolden med at irritere ved. Men du skal tage tid. Ja, yeah, I feel a lot of emotions, so I can get upset. Something is wrong with my eye. I don't know why. Du, du kan ikke gøre noget ved solen, altså. Ja, det eneste, du kan gøre, det er, at du kan fokusere på dine pointer, bygninger, spille den rigtige vej i banen, hele tiden møde bolden. Jeg er 103 i verden lige nu. Jeg er ikke den bedste i verden, så selvfølgelig er der rum for mange af mistakes, så det er bare om at prøve at gå ind i hjernen. Jeg tror ikke om at vinde eller vinde. Det er ikke noget, der er 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 noget, der When I'm angry and I use the anger positive into my game to get more power in the shot, it's, it really helps my game to, to improve and to play better. For 2022, my goal is to break inside the top 25, and uh, that's obviously a high goal, but I believe I have the game. One of the things I learned this year, really to be able physically to play 100% on each point and mentally. Nobody's gonna hand you the victory. You've got to take it yourself, earn it yourself. I believe I can do it.